Today's Daily Idea is brought to you by dailyhub.com. Hi, I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. Back in the 80s, Dolly Parton may have enjoyed a 9 to 5 work week, but in today's world, it's become 9 to exhaustion. Oh yeah, and don't forget to carry this baby home so you can check it nights and weekends. Being exhausted is nothing new. Six years ago, CNN reported that 46% of U.S. workers felt overworked. And I think we can all agree that number isn't going down anytime soon. But fear not, faithful followers. What would the daily idea be without a solution to your problems? Our army of research analysts have spent countless days and nights in search of a person who can help put the workday back in your control. Who could possibly find a way to work less and live a better lifestyle? Jack Welch? Dr. Phil? I know. How about the big kahuna herself? Really, from the looks of his new book, the most likely candidate seems to be a national kickboxing champion slash world record holder in the tango. Of course, we're talking about Tim Ferriss. Tim is the author of The 4-Hour Work Week and gives us four ingenious ways to work less and enjoy life more. Number one, check email two times per day. Okay, take a deep breath. I know you crackberry junkies out there can't believe we said it, but this just in, email isn't life or death. Tim suggests you check your inbox at two set times per day, such as 11 and four o'clock, and never ever check email in the morning. By starting your day on your real task and avoiding the send receive button, you'll get more done and waste less time. Number two, use the 80-20 rule on your customers. Tim suggests you make a list of your top five clients and the characteristics that cause them to be on the list. Now do the same for your bottom five. Once that is completed, start pink slipping the customers with bad traits and seek out the customers that would make your top five. You'll quickly see that only 20% of your current clients are really the people you want to work with. Number three, monitor your activity. Put a post-it note on your monitor or set a computer alert to gauge how productive you are by asking these questions three times a day. Am I being productive? Am I being busy? Am I doing a crutch activity? After a few days, you'll discover that Google whacking is a fancy way of procrastinating and begin to focus on result-driven activities. Number four, avoid constant meetings. Tim suggests you define a problem in advance. Don't ever meet to define the issue. Set an agenda before the meeting and define an end time. If you use these principles, you'll meet less and be more productive. Is four hours achievable right now? Maybe not immediately, but Tim's book shows you how he accomplished it and gives you plenty of ideas on how to improve your own life. With a little discipline and patience, we're sure you'll begin to notice a difference. So be a trendsetter. Put that Blackberry down and get out there and enjoy life. And that's another Daily Idea. Are you looking for the newest and best business content on the web? DailyHub.com covers topics ranging from marketing and finance to sales and strategy. Are you looking for an edge in business? Visit dailyhub.com today.